Well, here's the female cardinal again. We have a reasonable exposure on a bright, clear day. <clears throat> this little rascal is really going to town. I wonder how many seeds they need and when do their other sources of food open up. I read a book about um, oaks feeding creating breeding breeding ground for the food for uh, birds and uh, things like uh, caterpillars and moths and stuff like that worms so I guess the uh, the birds turn to the seeds because they uh, they ripen in the fall and hopefully last through the winter I think this bird has been coming here for a couple of weeks and uh, I've been interested in the coloration. It certainly is a cardinal and the coloration is has slowly turned more and more gray. It's got beautiful tail feathers. These rascals are very protective of their food sources. They're big enough that they they scare off other birds. And I'm just fascinated by how they can take a sunflower seed, <clears throat> which is difficult even for me to crack in my mouth and spit out the chaff. These guys do it with uh, relative ease. Now we're going two and a quarter minutes here on this feed. I guess we'll stop at three minutes. I'd love to see their mouth action. It's sort of like a vibration. I wonder if they're turning the seed over with their tongue because it starts with the seed keeping their mouth open quite a bit and then they crunch, crunch, crunch. See that? That is so cool. And all you do is see that, that seed pulp or the internal part of the seed I don't forget where the kernel gets um, less and less uh, well the kernel gets more and more exposed and the chaff just sort of comes out of the side of the the bird's beak you can see it falling in front of them wow I've talked a long time it's coming up on four minutes so we'll stop at four minutes fifty eight fifty nine adios